Yeah. Well, well, well. Change is the only constant thing that is going to happen in our life, and we have to embrace it gracefully. So, with that being said, and then let us see what Blender has to offer in case of changes and what is the next tool and how to use it. So, the next tool is I go from object mode to edit mode. You can use tab button, and here vertex mode, edge mode, and face mode. You can find the edge mode, vertex mode, and face mode. So you can also use 1, 2, 3 on the keyboard to go from vertex edge and face mode. And our next tool is polyweight tool. So let us delete this cube and see what exactly polyweight tool does. Let us delete this cube and go to add mesh and plane. And I will see it from top side. So I will click on the Z axis and we will go to edit mode and from there we will go to poly build tool the moment you click on this tool you get a blue outline and if you take to the vertex you get a blue vertex so if you click and drag you will get an extra face but if you hold down control you can get an axis of triangle you can make triangles with these faces it is mostly used for retopology what is retopology for those who are very interested in what is this after sculpting the faces very detailed faces we use retopology to get these details on a less poly model hope you understand it and even if you don't understand it we are going to get in that direction we are going to know what is retopology control brings you a triangle face and if you hold shift and go on any face you can delete the faces that's one awesome thing and if you hold shift on any vertex you can click and delete that vertex and if you go on any vertex and click and drag you can move the vertex this is mostly used for retopology uh, for example let us take an example I will delete this shape now I will bring a logo first we have to go from object edit mode to object mode and then we will bring a layer of this thing so this is our logo so I will tap G to move this let us select this uh, logo and tap G and place it somewhere here and now I will select on plane tap yes to scale it we are scaling it down and tap G to place it I am placing it here let's rotate it a bit and scale it a bit with the I am tapping yes to scale now i will go from object mode to edit mode from edit mode we will take poly build tool and now we will create these faces click and 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 so for this I'm I am moving this vertex exactly to match with the shape and control click and click and click and control click make sure you don't try to click this way now for that to happen the problem is that I want to click here it is not happening so what I can do is I can click here I am moving this vertex without holding control so with that control click control click and control click and control click and click and click and click make sure you don't create this type of faces because it's very difficult for blender to understand 
so i am to delete this type of faces i am holding down shift button shift and click it it will delete it control click here and then just with mouse you can move it from here to here and that's how you can make a logo isn't it great it's awesome so with that being said and done try to see it learn it understand it i will meet you in the next video and if you want to support me wholeheartedly you can go on the patreon page link is given in the description and if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and leave a comment as well uh, i might respond to you or your questions